Eric July posted a video on the topic of promotion and expectations. It is a great video. Eric's main points are that nobody is owed anything, creators should work hard, allow promotion to happen organically and not expect it, and build relationships with peers and customers. Nothing wrong with this positive message, right? Eric responds to this comment by an indie creator. You can't expect writers and comic artists to build a following from music and politics, or even YouTube. Eric's success has nothing to do with his actual initial product. It's his name that sold his product, just like when a politician released a book. Eric, it's not that we expect people to spend 18 years building their own brand and independence like I did. It's that others want a similar result having done nothing comparable. Or worse, they feel I'm undeserving. Immortal Rising Comics, another indie creator replied to Eric, You could have made a different product, but you chose a comic. You don't even read indies or participate in the community out here grinding as beginning entrepreneurs, except as drama fodder. Just continue promoting a few already large money campaigns and leave the small guys alone if you find us irrelevant or a nuisance. You're not helping the marketplace. Save your bootstraps and pie platitudes and keep walking. Very rude comment by Immortal Rising. Eric. Hey man. I clicked on your page and noticed you had an active campaign. You had 10 backers in 6 months, so what I did was essentially fund your campaign. Here's what I'd like you to do. Work on your attitude because it is in a terrible spot. Being small does not make you admirable, nor does it justify your attitude towards creators that have worked extremely hard to get where they're at. Dismissing or attempting to devalue their efforts is such a tone-deaf thing to do and will only turn people off to your project. You could have made a different product was a moronic way to approach this. Lastly, there is no, the community, as it pertains to independent comics. The click you're around are not the only people that exist, and it is arrogance to operate as if it does. To tell someone they don't participate, or they don't help the marketplace despite them employing more people in comics than you ever have, is incredibly stupid. You are in no position to be as dismissive and disrespectful as you are. Your project is funded and I do not want your items. I just want you to get to work, go be great, and work on your attitude. Good luck. Incredible generosity by Eric July to fund that guy's campaign. Here we see Immortal Rising's campaign page prior to Eric's contribution. 10 backers and $296 raised in 6 months. Here is proof of Eric contributing. December 28th, $706 and a $100 tip to the Fund My Comic website. Now we see the updated page after Eric's contribution. The comic has been fully funded and Immortal Rising can proceed with the project. Surely he is going to appreciate Eric July's help, right? Immortal Rising, keep your money and your insults I don't need either. That's a storefront for me. Here's what I'd like you to do. You can address anything I said. We can do it in DMs, unless you need the drama fodder for your brand. Bad look by Immortal Rising. Eric never insulted him. Your storefront is funded. This isn't drama. You just oddly injected yourself and said some off-the-wall things. Your point was addressed in the original post, largely made up of things I've never claimed, positions I don't have, and disrespect of the hard work I've done to get to this point and our efforts in comics. If you need any advice, absolutely reach out to me via contact. Other than that, just get to work and be great. Eric has taken the high road throughout this interaction, leading by example on how to conduct yourself in business and social media. Take notes, people. Great stuff to learn and apply in all avenues. Immortal Rising claims Eric is acting out and can't address anything he said, which is false. Eric did far more and funded this man's campaign. Immortal Rising, sorry I'm reading through the condescending lecture. Give me a minute to find where you address what I said. Can you highlight it for me? I'm not as quick on the drama posting for clicks as you. Stop lying. Nothing Eric said was condescending. He gave you great advice and you continue to be disrespectful. Immortal Rising goes on a huge rant talking nonsense, claiming to be a victim, crying, whining, complaining, projecting, crying, lying, and did I already say crying? He really loves to cry. Immortal Rising has proven to be stuck in an unproductive and negative mindset. I have no idea how Eric has the patience to continue the discussion with this guy, but he debunks all the lies like he does against other detractors. There is more whining and crying by Immortal Rising. However, there is no point in boring you with those details. 
In conclusion, Immortal Rising refunded Eric July's generous campaign contribution. Eric, the gentleman from yesterday, rejected the money I had given him for his comic and has refunded it. Again, unfortunate, but I will hope he seriously takes the advice. So let's have some positive fun this morning. If you need help funding your project, post below. I will select three. Incredible way to make sure focus stays on the positivity. Amazing to see. Great job by Eric. Before we check out who the lucky creators that Eric helped out are, let's visit Immortal Rising's campaign page. 18 backers, $576. 58% funded of $1,000 goal. You know, I gotta give it to this guy. He at the very least stands by his principles and doesn't switch up with wherever the wind blows. Good luck to him. There you have it, folks. Eric July backed three indie campaigns. But he doesn't help the community, right? I thought Eric is selfish and all for himself. He doesn't care about anybody else. Only rip averse. Haters got nothing on Eric. Look at this. Backed. Backed. And backed. I wish those creators the best of luck. I was going to end the video but had to include this update. Detractors of Eric July noticed what was going on and felt offended on behalf of Immortal Rising. They interpreted Eric's kindness as an arrogant power move to throw money at the little guy to keep him quiet. So they backed Immortal Rising's campaign out of spite for Eric. At the end of the day, an indie creator's project is fully funded.